Hello everyone, welcome to day 5 of 30 Days of iPhone Programming Tutorials. Now today we'll be learning about faded views and how to add them into our application. So this will add a layer, a dimmed layer to our application and so the background components will be dimmed and they'll be inactive and you can have the components added in the foreground kind of on top of your application. Now how you do this is a little bit more counterintuitive as you might think. Uh, so we're just going to get straight into this. Go ahead and start a new project. I'm going to call this Faded View create um, in any folder you like. Uh, go ahead into your viewcontroller.h. I'm going to add in a IB outlet for our UI view, which we'll, we will call the faded view. And you're going to want to add in a um, IB action show faded. Now this will be showing our faded view uh, when we add the impl implementation for that. Go ahead into the XIB file. I'm going to change this to 3.5 um, and drag in a button. Now this will be the show, it'll be attached to the show faded action. And we're going to want to drag in a UI view. There we go. And we're going to want to change the background color of this view to black. Um, now go ahead and don't forget to add your um, correct outlets and actions, so we're going to do show faded to the show faded button and use touch up inside for that. And then in your .m, we're going to have the show faded action there. And in here, we want to chain in the view did load, we want to do faded view dot alpha because right now it's just a completely black screen. So if we added that to the application, we wouldn't see anything behind it. So we want to change the alpha to something like 0.5. Um, and here, this is where we actually have the code to add the faded view to the view. So self.view add subview, and we're going to do faded view. So now when we build and run, we should see um, a button and the faded view being added to it. And here we go. So when we press show faded, you see the dimmed button, the dimmed view appear above, and you can't interact with anything behind it. Um, but now if we try to add in, this is the slight problem we run into. If you try to add in a button on top, um, if you just build and run this, you'll see a problem we run into. You can see when you do show faded, the button appears and we can interact with it, but it also has the 0.5 alpha applied to it. So we want to have, usually you want to have buttons that are totally clear and they're not, they don't have an alpha behind them. So a thing, a way to fix this is you're going to want to add in a, another view so we can copy and paste this code. Um, this will be for our components. So I'm just going to call this faded view components. Um, and go ahead into your XIB file. We're going to add in another view and drag this in. Now we're going to want to take this button away from here and put it on the new faded component screen. We can add in some more components in there. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to add in some random whatever. Uh, that's fine. So this is just so we can see the components and how they appear on the screen. doesn't really matter if you have any order to them. Um, this will just be kind of as a test. Now make sure you attach the outlet, the faded view components, and save that. Go back into your dot, um, dot .m file, and in here we're going to do self.view add subview um, faded view components. Now what this will do It'll add the faded view, and then it'll add the faded view component screen, um, this screen, on top of it. But there will be a problem, because the background on this screen is white, and it'll totally cover up the faded view, and it'll also cover up the original view that we had. So to fix this, we kind of add a, um, a background color. Uh, so faded view components, we're going to change the background color for this set background color, it'll be a UI color, and we're going to set it to a clear color. So this should be totally see-through, um, and it won't, it'll totally solve all those other problems that we had. So now when we build and run, we do show faded, you can see these buttons, unlike the button that we had on the faded view, these are totally clear, um, the alpha is 100%, and that is pretty much it for this tutorial. So if you like this tutorial, uh, leave a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. The source code for this project, as well as the code for all my other iPhone SDK tutorials, can be found on xcode.iminicrispy.com.